For one final bit of shooting action, I've got something that's a bit more pure and simple. A nice old fashioned shmup. 1988 Silkworm was one of my absolute favourites of the good old early computer days, a fast loader with simple no frills action and a neat little two player twist. Of course there's been games in the Kimblitz from those days that I've revisited now and found haven't held up all that well, but thankfully Silkworm isn't one of them. Generally speaking most versions of this game are good, but I think that the Amiga version shows the game off at its best. The gimmick of Silkworm is that it's a horizontal shooter with action both in the air and on the ground. Ideally it's played with two people, one controlling the helicopter and the other the jeep. However, as reviewing old games on the internet is usually a thankless and lonely task, we can only see the helicopter here. A similar formula was seen in the game's spiritual successor, the probably better remembered vertical shooter Swift, if only because Swift also had some pretty good conversions on the 16-bit consoles. Stages come in waves and are straightforward enough, around the midpoint you get to fight an odd little ship that comes together in pieces, and then there's a boss at the end, usually either a big chopper or a big tank. In between this you'll be attacked from just about every conceivable angle by various crafts, planes, ships and vehicles. The play is very straightforward and very arcadey, all the regular trappings of an old school shmup are here. Indeed, the main thing about this one is that it's quite interesting to compare this to the other shmups we've seen in the Blitz, namely Banshee and Mushihim Sama. If you showed someone all three games and asked them what they thought the hardest one was, they would undoubtedly say Mushihim Sama without question, but while that may be true of the Ultra mode, it's not really the case for regular play. Banshee is undoubtedly the hardest by a mile, but Silkworm is tough too, especially in the later waves. The hitboxes are a good example. While a bullet hell game has about a pixel's worth of hitbox, Silkworm has an entire ship's worth, a large ship too, bulkier than what you would see in most modern day shmups. Then there's the direction enemies take. In something like Mushihima Sama, enemies and shots are almost always in front of you, allowing you to hand in the back as much as possible. In something like Silkworm or Banshee, you're attacked from all directions. If you hand back all the time, you'll end up dying as a wave of helicopters crashes into you from the rear, nor will you be able to effectively evade attacks from the ground, or things like homing missiles that you just don't see in shmups anymore. Old school shmups only look easier than the more modern bullet hell games, but a lot of the time they're much harder, and these three games do really show the difference. Anywho, as far as Silkworm itself goes, yeah, this game's great. It did a fine job as an early Amiga title too, not necessarily one that showed off the computer's power, but it certainly showed that the Amiga was more than capable of strong arcade action. It's a bit of a shame that the game doesn't have any in-game music, but that's often the case, and on the whole I would say it's held up way better than the more visually impressive likes of, say, Xenon 2. It's one of the most straightforward shmup games around, but still a classic. I have strong memories of this on the Spectrum too, where it was absolutely one of the best attempts at a shmup going on the system, but still the Amiga is where it's best. Despite anything it might lack in presentation, it just doesn't ever get repetitive, one of the most brilliant pick up and play games around. Short, sweet and quite, quite nice. Much like this review. See you tomorrow.